Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining division method for deconvolution. In previous session, I have explained conventional method to call to have deconvolution. Now over here, I'll explain you division method. So both method can solve deconvolution. So let us have division method here. Now see here, y of n that is x of n convolution with h of n. So x of n that is given by 1 1 minus 1 and y of n that is given by 1 3 1 minus 2. So question is find h of n. Now see how to solve this. So first of all, all we need to do is we need to write this polynomial first. So you just see how I am writing this polynomial. So y of n that is 1 plus 3x plus x square minus 2x cube and that is what we need to divide it with x of n. So you see how I write x of n here. So I should be writing x of n over here. So I am writing it. So this is 1. So 1 plus 1 into 1, 1 into x, x minus 1 into x square. Now all we need to do is we need to divide this. So let us divide this. Now see over here there is 1. So I should be first taking 1 over here and have this value over here as per given. Now if you subtract this minus minus plus. So this will be 0 3x minus x that is plus 2x x square plus x square that is 2x square and now take this data over here so minus 2x cube now if you multiply 2x with this to have further solution so if I multiply 2x with this so plus 2x and over here 2x again plus 2x means 2x square minus 2x means minus 2x cube and if you change polarity minus minus plus so 2x minus 2x 0 2x square minus 2x square 0 and 2x cube minus 2x cube that will be even 0 so over here remainder is 0 so we can say this h of n that is this polynomial so as reminder is 0 h of n that is this polynomial and h of n will be as per this polynomial 1 comma 2. Now see here one problem can occur when you do this division as per this method if remainder is coming then this calculation is false means h of n cannot be obtained. So here we need to see whether remainder is 0 or not. If remainder is not 0 means its deconvolution is not possible. So this is what we need to understand here. In previous session I have explained one example where convolution was invalid. So in that even if you apply this example you will be finding remainder is something means deconvolution is not possible. So that is what we need to understand over here and you can solve those examples even where deconvolution is not possible. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will make videos which will be solving queries of students. Thank you so much for watching this video.